So we usually don't do this in the winter because, uh, well, most of these crossovers, SUVs, come with all-season tires, and the Durango also has all-season tires, and there's snow and ice on Goldmine Hill, and usually a combination of all-season tires and a big crossover SUV, and snow means the vehicle won't make it up. But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to take this brand new Durango up Goldmine Hill and see how it does, see if we can get to the top. It's been uh, an interesting winter here in Colorado. It was really snowy in December and then we've had really warm weather these last few months so a lot of the snow has melted. So the question is, can this Durango make it up all the way to the top of Goldmine Hill with some snow and ice? And usually this is not only a test of the car's all-wheel drive system but also a test of the tires. And these tires, like I said, are mud and snow, which means they're all-season Bridgestones. Uh, and they're luckily brand new, so they still have some good knobbies, or as close to knobbies as you can get with all seasons. So I'm hoping that with the combination of a warm winter and brand new all-season tires and this Durango's admittedly, well, uncontrollable all-wheel drive system. And what I mean by that is I have no train management. I've got nothing I can do. I just put it in drive and let the vehicle figure out where it wants to send power on its own. I will make it to the top of Goldmine Hill and uh, we'll see. I'm a little worried. I don't have a lot of ground clearance per se. This model is the Citadel which is the, um, well this is the kind of the fancy with all the bells and whistles model, the sunroof. It's basically the one that uh, you probably wouldn't take off-road. It's the one you take uh, a nice family trip. It has a Pentastar 3.6 liter in it. And if you go over to our um, brand new channel, TFL Now, I did a live review of this Durango with a zero to 60 run. So if you're looking for more of a traditional review, I did a live one, so you can go check that out. And I'll link to it up here. Otherwise, today we're going up Goldmine Hill and that is coming up right now on the Fast Lane Car. All right, here we go. Goldmine Hill. I'm gonna do a little bit of momentum, hopefully, to help me get across this ice. Get a little bit of speed. Normally, it wouldn't go this fast, but I feel like I'm gonna get wheel spin. So far, so good. Things of Billy Goat. Uh oh, losing a little bit of traction, sliding a little bit. But the Durango's doing it. Very impressive, especially with summer tires. And can't really see on video but this is very steep even walking up here is is pretty tricky so looks like I've made uh, stage one all right here comes stage two now stage two is trickier than it seems because it's a very hard left turn at a very steep incline so it really throws a couple of the wheels up in the air and it gives you a chance to understand how well the truck is allocating power through its all-wheel drive system to the various different tires so let's see if I can do this yeah, getting wheel spin, that always happens. But, if I just stay on the power, sliding, 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 and, you know, that was easy. That was really easy. I'm impressed. We usually have a really hard time getting um, one of these big crossovers up Goldmine Hill in the winter, and yet this truck has done it. All right, stage three, but guys, I see a pretty serious problem. Let me go show you. All right, here's the issue. Somebody's dug the hell out of this thing. Maybe if I push, get a shovel. Actually, let me get a shovel. I, I wanna, I wanna give this, I wanna give this truck a fighting chance and somebody's really dug this up. Let me get a shovel and fill this back in and then we'll go for stage three. So let me use a shovel. Fill this in with this loose dirt to get the uh, mango a real shot at actually making it. All right, stage three. Trick here is not slamming the truck or the Durango into a tree. We'll give it a little bit of momentum and hope that I can make it up this. We'll give it a shot. Here we go. Getting wheel spin and I'm going backward. And I'm stuck. I'll try one more time. A little bit of uh, momentum. 
uh, but I don't think these tires are up for it. What happens is that front wheel, left wheel, hits the hole and we lose traction. There we go. You know, I could go probably at a faster clip, but I'm really risking hitting these two trees on either side of me, like that. And uh, while well, I'm sliding here, that is just not, not worth it. So I'm impressed. It made it uh, two out of the three stages. We're gonna go around stage three and uh, for a three row family SUV, the Rango did really well. It's one of the few that's actually gotten this far in the winter up Gold Mine Hill. Yeah, I can already see the comments. You should have gone at it faster. You should have tried harder. You know what guys? This 50 plus thousand dollar car does not belong to us. It belongs to Dodge. And if we wrap it around a tree, this is the last Durango that we will be testing. And that is not what the point of these videos are. The point of this video is just to see how well it does going up a steep hill. And it did very well. And we're not gonna take a chance on damaging a car that isn't ours. If this were your car, honestly, would you attempt that? Let me know in the comments below. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. And by the way, if you wanna see a full review of this, click over here, because we did it live at the racetrack. See you guys next time, and thanks for watching. Ciao.